Transmissions jammed. Proximity coverage only. Hey guys, Jacob here. This is going to be episode 13 of the Named Weapons and Gear. Today's weapon I'm going to be covering is actually going to be a classic, and this is the Invisible Hand Aug. This is actually one of the first uh, named weapons that a lot of people used back at the beginning of the game, and a lot of people loved it because it was just it was new, it had a like, custom skin on it, and it looked really cool. But this is a high-end named assault rifle. There's an inscription on this just like any other named weapon. It says, do I look like a charity to you? Market forces at work. You want what I've got? Let's make a deal. Cassie Mendoza, the gunrunner, which Cassie Mendoza is the uh, vendor you can actually find through the snitch, if you guys were wondering. Total damage on this is 99.6, 762 RPM with 50 rounds in the magazine. The assault rifle damage on here, health damage, and crit hit damage are max. This is a god roll one you can, uh, you know, I've acquired here. Uh, you can actually change it if you want. So if you want more RPM on this weapon, you could always change the attribute to uh, RPM to the max. But you already have perfect allegro on here, which gives you 12% rate of fire, which is really nice. It used to be 15, but they kind of reduced the talents and stuff in this game, um, so they're not as strong as they used to be. The attachments you can run on this are pretty much like any other uh, assault rifle. You can have the C79 scope, accuracy, optimal range. Even headshot damage if you want to have a ridiculous looking assault rifle that kind of looks like a Star Wars gun. Um, on the muzzle, you can have anything as one as well. Just a reminder, these are 5.56 attachments. You cannot put 7.62. So you can put something like the Omega Rifle Suppressor, which gives you stability. And you can put the crit chance, stability, and vertical uh, accuracy grip. Which, one thing that's really weird is you cannot put... Um, the crit hit damage grip on here, which is a little odd because as you guys will see the rail is actually pretty big So I don't really understand that um, But maybe it's just an error on their you know end or they just didn't want to make it available for this weapon Now for the magazine uh, you can pretty much put whatever magazine you want on here I have the plus 20 rounds 3556 also the magazine will not change so it's kind of like a cut since it's custom uh, It's gonna be the same size as always uh, so if you put the crazy 20 round mag on there it's not going to extend it's just going to be pretty much essentially the same the skin on here is the solid admiral for invisible hand so you can change this if you want to uh, but i tend to keep it blue just because i kind of like that shade of blue and it still fits the gun also it takes away um you know kind of the aesthetic of it it still looks pretty cool but i still like the uh blue on it because that's what it came with a few ways you can acquire this weapon i actually acquired a few of them in uh, different areas one was the z uh, if I remember correctly, I actually got one of these that drop in the Dark Zone in the Loot Allocation Assault Rifle. Uh, but most likely, you guys are going to want to probably farm uh, areas that are Loot Allocation in the Open World Assault Rifles. You can see right now it's DZ uh, South, that's Loot Allocation, but you're going to probably want to farm missions and stuff to get this to drop. I've had a few people say it drops in different areas, uh, but you also see the Pentagon as Assault Rifles, which um, DARPA, no one likes DARPA. I don't, I, at least I don't like DARPA. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys don't either, uh, but you can farm and actually have a chance to get this to drop. But that's about it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more Division 2 content, and I will catch you guys all later. Me too.